All right, so continuing 3.4 here on linear programming, I'm on example two, and I want to find the max and minimum values. So I'm giving you the objective function, and I'm giving you a set of constraints. So we need to kind of solve these constraints is what we're kind of on now. So let's take a look. Um, we're going to graph the first two. Um, X is greater than or equal to zero. Um, you're already probably getting used to this one. There's that line right there and I pick a point not in the line like 0, 0, and we realize that it goes in this direction. Um, y is greater than or equal to 0. You probably already realize how that one's going to be shaded as well. Um, when you plug in a point not in the line, um, like 1, 1, 1 is greater than 0, so we know it's going to be in this area up in here. But now, well, let's take a look at these two items. Um, instead of solving uh, for y, let's find the x-intercept of the two bottom lines. So the x-intercept for this one, if I plug in y as 0, right, I get x is 5, so there's my solution. I plug 5, 0 in. If I want to find the y-intercept, I plug a 0 in for x. I figure out that y is 5, so basically to, to plot that, I go over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and put a point, and I go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and put a point. And there's that line. So I pick a point not on that line, like uh, 0, 0. And just by looking at it, you can probably tell, is 0 greater than 5? Nope. So I'm shading everything up here. So as of right now, I would shade this down to this point. It would bend down here, and it would bend over here, and I'd shade everything up in here right now. With this one finding the x and y intercept, I plug in y as 0, so the 4 cancels out, and 3x um, equals 18, so x equals 6 is the answer, because I divide both sides by 3. Um, and to figure out what y is, I plug a 0 in for um, x, and I divide it by 4 to get 4.5. So those are my two points there, which means plot the point 4.5 which is about there plot the point 6 which is there and I draw across the line and when I do that um, I pick a point not there to shade so when I pick a point 0 0 and plug it in is 0 greater than 18 no it's not so I shade everything up in this direction and basically that means I'm shading this area so the line it, the shaded area is unbounded but it comes down to this point, so here's one point. It also goes right there. That's 0, 5. And this point right here, that's another point. This one right here. That's 2, 3. This bends down to this line, which there's another point. That's 6, 0, and then it's unbounded. The doctor said I wouldn't have so many nosebleeds if I kept my finger out of there. So if I plug in the first one, 0, 5, I end up getting 30. If I plug in a 0 for x and a 5 for y, I end up getting 30, right? Because 6 times 5 is 30. Plug in a 2 and a 3, 5 times 2 plus 6 times 3, I get 28. And if I plug in 6, 0, I get 5 times x plus 6 times y, uh, 5 times 6 times plus 6 times 0, I get 30. So, when I'm looking at this, that's the smallest number, so that's the minimum. But, you notice something, don't you? You notice that I have a kind of like a tie, right? I have two 30s up there. Well, when we're talking in linear programming about max and mins, it is possible to not get a max or min as an answer. And basically, here's why. You are not allowed to have ties. If you have a tie, you can't break it. So very simply put, the minimum, there is a minimum in this problem, and that's 28, meaning the minimum point is 2, 3. But there is no max to this problem. There is no max. So when you answer this question, there is no max because there's a tie. If you have a tie with any numbers, they can